Some new developments tonight. The FDA has approved the first gene therapy to treat patients with sickle cell disease. This could be life-changing for about 100,000 Americans who live with the painful condition. CBS 2's Jennifer Bisram with more on this medical breakthrough. Game changer for sickle cell, a devastating, painful blood disorder disease that shortens the lifespan for mostly people of color. Pain from sickle cell can occur anywhere blood circulates. That's because red blood cells, normally donut shaped, bend into inflexible sickle shapes, causing them to pile up inside blood vessels and prevent the normal delivery of oxygen throughout the body. But many may now be able to beat the odds with breakthrough technology approved by the FDA Friday. CRISPR is a gene editing treatment used to repair the gene that causes sickle cell. The pounding pain in my back, like my lower back, and they'd really be hurting. 15 year old Johnny Lubin was born with the blood disorder, but after a cutting edge clinical trial with five weeks in the hospital and six months out of school, he's already living a better life. His doctor said he's, you know, everything looks good. He can go and live his life as a normal kid. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, about 100,000 Americans are living with sickle cell, and one in 13 African American babies is born with a sickle cell trait. It's the first positive sign they have that there is a treatment for their sickle cell pain crisis. The Valerie Fund, which provides care to children with cancer and blood disorders, is hopeful about this new treatment. It will help thousands of children that come through the Valerie Fund centers in that they don't have to come back to the centers all the time for treatment, that they're not going to the emergency room, and that they can live normal lives like you and me. Medical experts say gene editing is expected to cost over $2 million per patient. The treatment has been approved for people 12 years and older. Until now, the only known cure for sickle cell was a bone marrow transplant from a donor. I thought that was pretty cool how I have, like, new cells. And I honestly hoped, you know, I could get, you know, some superpowers from, you know, like genetically engineered. In the meantime, Johnny, who lives in Connecticut, is enjoying his new pain-free life. Jennifer Bisram, CBS 2 News. Oh, you certainly have superpowers. Don't, don't, do not underestimate that. Doctors do say that patients will need to be followed long term before this can be called a cure. The potential long term effects are still unknown.